Today, I bring forth a new chatbot application that is quite versatile. Introducing PDF to chat. This was something that actually just recently released and it's a new chat with your files conversational AI chatbot. It's something that lets you chat with multiple different ranges of files in seconds. Now, it is powered by Together AI as well as Pinecone and it is completely free being open source so it lets you extend further as well. Just take a listen to what the main dev had spoken on this application. So I built this site called pdf to chatcom that allows you to chat with any PDF. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, log in. And right after we do, we can upload a textbook or a blog post or any sort of PDF. I already uploaded um, uh, one of my favorite uh, books in high school called Fahrenheit 451. And we can actually go here and uh, read the whole PDF on the left-hand side. And what's actually really cool is we can chat with it. We can ask it intelligent questions like, why does Faber uh, consider himself a coward? And it doesn't explicitly say this in the text but it infers it from a lot of different um, from you know using the textbook as a source and it'll actually show us what pages it got this answer from we can actually click on them and go to them and check them out we got some great news coming out of the patreon page as we have a couple more subscriptions being given out this month now this month we had a total of four different subscriptions being given out to our Patreons and this just shows how unique and how amazing this community is. We've been focusing really, really hard on providing you guys with the best content as well as the best applications for free for just simply joining our Patreon page. You not only access subscriptions, but you access resources, collaboration, networking opportunities, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below if you want to access our private Discord. Now, isn't that amazing? Now, you might be wondering, why cover another PDF to chatbot conversational bot? Well, the reason is because this is not just an ordinary PDF to chat conversational chatbot. It's something that is more intricate. And as we saw from that previous video, you're able to infer further with the generation, meaning that you can get better reasoning as well as better understanding for what you want it to actually generate. You get more of a better response when you compare it to other chatbots. And this is something that we'll take a look at as you go further into the video. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be uncovering PDF to chat further in detail, showcase how you can get started and so much more. So stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at PDF to chat. This is something that you can get started with right now through this website and it's something that we'll take a look at as we go further into the video. You're able to chat with your PDFs in seconds and you can have various different types of conversations with any sort of PDF that you want, whether that's a book, a textbook, paper, research paper, and so much more. Now, how does it actually work? You simply just create an account, you upload your PDF, and you can start chatting with it using Together AI as well as Pinecone as your vector database. So how can you get started? Well, you simply just click on the Get Started button on the home page, and you log in with your Google account, or you can simply just create a new account with your email. Once you have done that, you will be then sent to this page where you simply just need to input your PDF. So in this case, I'm gonna find a PDF and I'll just ingest it into this. So what I have done is that I ingested my PDF, which is talking about this research paper on AGI. It's titled Sparks of Artificial General Intelligence, Early Experiments with GPT-4. This is actually something that we have taken a look at on this channel. It's a research paper that is investigating the earlier version of GPT-4, and it's focusing on the study as to how it's showing early like signs of general intelligence and this is just a research paper that goes through various different research or sorry experiments as well as different types of methods to analyze this now this is a pdf with 155 pages and i was able to simply ingest this in it's taking its time at the moment because it's a kind of a large file but once this is done ingesting i'll be right back and we'll get to showcasing how you can start chatting with it now i was kind of waiting a little bit longer than expected so i had to refresh the page and i can see that my research paper has been uploaded now you can simply start chatting with this right away by simply clicking on this and you can start chatting with multiple files as well which is great for you to 
basically you get the ability to chat with multiple different ranges of PDFs. Now, in this case, you can see that the whole PDF has been uploaded, all 155 pages. It's pretty great because you can also reference different types of figures. You can reference different links as well. So if you click on a figure, it will take you all the way up to that figure. And now you can even ask it things. So in this case, what is the main purpose of this research paper? And we'll get a response quite quickly quite quickly because it's using together a AP, together AI's API system which is going to be sourcing the content a little bit faster because of its inference feed and we can see it does a great job in stating the different types of primary objectives or goals of this research paper and it did it quite fast if you saw and you can do ask it various different types of questions and as we saw at the start of the video you can infer even further because this is a chatbot system that can even reason and provide you understanding a little bit better than other chatbot applications. Now, just remember, this was an application that was just recently released. It's something that is going to be continuously worked upon and they have a lot of future tasks as to what they're going to be developing. In this case, one of the most notable ones that I thought about is that they're going to be focusing on researching the best practices for chunking as well as retrieving different types of information. This is the task that is going to involve exploring as well as benchmarking different types of best practices for handling data chunks and retrieval. It could potentially optimize the overall performance of this application further, making it even better. In my opinion, it's already something that is quite great, but it will make it even better. Secondly, uh, they're trying to also incorporate Langsmith and this is for more observability. This is something that they're trying to experiment and it's going to be something that will increase observability into how the RAG apps can run suggested different uh, suggestions on focuses for enhancing as well as monitoring the understanding of the overall behavior of this application. Thirdly, one thing that I thought about was exploring the best practices for auto scrolling. This is just a small little feature that many of the other apps, ChatGPT, like like ChatGPT, have, and this is something that will implement this auto scrolling feature, which can imply for a better user experience. There's going to be different prompting methods using Mistral, demo videos, implementation from source, like Perplexity does it. You can add different analytics as well as using session tracking tools. Now, these are just some of the most notable ones that I thought about, but there's many different other ones that I definitely recommend that you read through so you get a better understanding as to what their roadmap is. And this is something that's quite great, guys, because this is something that many of us tend to use to source better information from our PDFs in a matter of seconds. And this is something that is fully open source and free. It's something that you can get started with right away. And you can see from this example, the UI is beautiful something that is very easy to work with and it gives you a lot of flexibility to find different types of content in your PDF. Now you might be wondering, how can you get started? You can actually deploy this on your own, but you need to set up a couple of things. You need to set up together AI, which is used for the inference of the LM. Now it's using Mixtral through together AI to set this up, to have your vector database. You're using Pinecone to set up the byte scale. This is for your PDF storage. To set up the clerk, this is for authentication, as well as setting up Vercel for hosting it and for the Postgres database. These are some of the things that you will need to set this up to have it deployed on your own. And now, if you are to click on this, you can see that for Together AI, they give you the link as well as if you go to the documentation, it showcases how you can actually get started with the setup. But let's actually go back and take a look at the repo a little bit further in detail. If you clone this repo and you go to the .example.n, you'll be able to see for the list of all the required environments that you need to provide. So different types of APIs that you will be needed to provide on your local host and the .n file to make this functional and so that it can use these different APIs to have this something locally hosted. Now, I believe you can also access this on your phone, which would be really useful for many of us. So if you're interested in this, go to the website on your phone, log in, and you'll be able to start chatting with your PDFs on your phone. Now, that's basically it for today's video, guys. I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check it out. 
Now, if you want me to make another video on this, definitely let me know, and I can definitely try my best to do so. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. We have amazing features where we're giving out different types of subscriptions. We have so many subscriptions being given out this month, so definitely stay tuned because I got a lot planned in this next quarter. Make sure you check us out on Twitter if you guys haven't already. Follow us to stay up to date with the latest AI content. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on Just today. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Make sure you turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.